Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a pigeonhole principle problem, but using graph theory, but not actually graph theory using graphs. So uh, the thing is, that the problem is that prove that in a group of six persons, uh, each pair is either mutual friends or mutual enemies. Then we have to show that uh, there are either three mutual friends or three mutual enemies. Or okay. So, suppose we take six points in a plane. And now, let's uh, join them. So, suppose uh, if they are friends, we will join them via blue line. And if they are enemies, we will join them via red line. Okay. So, uh, now let's concentrate on this person, person 1, okay. So that person will have 5 relations, okay. The person 1 will have 5 relations with the other 5 persons. Now if I just simply put 2 baskets for just the person one okay friends and enemies so then whoever is friend if you put it in the friends basket and uh, whoever is enemies uh, you put it in the uh, enemy basket so you're putting five people in these two baskets so at least by pigeonhole principle you can say that uh, at least one of these basket will have three uh, persons okay because you are putting five percent so you, uh, the ratio can be like uh, two two but still you are left with one right so in uh, that last person will have to go to into one of these so uh, at least one of these basket will have at least uh, three members so without loss of generality let's take that the first person is having uh, three friends okay so then uh, so we will join them via blue line friends or we can take enemies also doesn't matter so without loss of generality we are taking that so here. so let's so let's say that uh, these are the three friends okay so any three can be the friends okay doesn't matter okay so let's say these are the three friends this this you can choose any doesn't matter okay and also suppose uh, this one now okay so notice that so let's uh, number the other persons so suppose this is two three four five six okay now if the second and the sixth person they are friends that means if they are joined by a blue line then you have a rectangle where all the three sides are blue so that means you have three mutual friends and if you get a rectangle where all the three sides are red so that means you are having uh, three mutual enemies so you have to show that in any way you are going to have a triangle with all the three sides blue or all the three sides as red so if this is uh, one two and six are friends then we are done so let two and six be enemies okay so <coughs> let's join them by a red line okay now let's see Now let's uh, look at the others uh, like 3, uh, no not 3, like 4 and uh, 6, <coughs> okay. So 1 and 4 are friends, 1 and 6 are also friends. Now again the same scenario, if 6 and 4 are friends then you get a blue triangle and you are done. So 
now we will suppose that okay no so 6 and 4 let there be enemies okay so i'll go i'm going for the worst case scenario so yeah they are enemies so now uh, also let's look at 2 and 4 so 2 and 4 if they are friends then i am done i have a blue triangle 1 2 and 4 if they are not friends then they must be if they are friends i am done if they are not friends then they are enemies and i should join them via straight uh, red line and now you see that in my even in my worst case scenario i have a triangle where uh, all the sides are red so either i get a triangle having all the sides as uh, blue or uh, a triangle with all the sides as the color red so uh, we use pigeonhole principle to basically first uh, note that at least for every person at least three friends or three enemies would be present so that's where we use the pigeonhole principle and the rest were going for the worst case scenario and proving the problem so that's it for this uh, video so we'll meet in the next one thanks for watching